Hello and welcome back to my Tataya English channel. Today I'm gonna talk about ED adjectives and ING adjectives. These types of adjectives are, can be a bit confusing, but once you understand the difference, they are very easy to use correctly. What are ED and ING adjectives? ED and ING adjectives are adjectives that are formed from verbs. They help us describe how someone feels, ED or what something is like, ING. What are ED adjectives? ED adjectives describe emotions or feelings. They tell us how a person feels. Not only the people's feelings, but also the animal's feelings. Let's look at the example sentences. I am bored. This tells us how I feel. She is interested in reading. This tells us how she feels. For the animals, my dog is bored when I go outside. This tells us how your dog feels. What are ing adjectives? ing adjectives describe the characteristics of a person, thing, or situation. For example, the book is interesting. This tells us what the book is like. And next one is, it is an interesting story. This tells us what the story is like. Next one is, it is a tiring day. That means the day is exhausting. To be clear, let's look at a few more example sentences of both the ED and ING adjectives. Bored, boring. He is bored with his job. That means he feels bored. That is a person's feelings. Next one. His job is boring. That means his job is not interesting. Next one is excited, exciting. The kids are excited about the trip. That means the kids feel excited. The trip is exciting. That means the trip is going to be fun and full of excitement tired tiring she is tired after working all day that means she feels tired that is a person's feeling now to summarize use ed adjectives to describe feelings use ing adjectives to describe the cause of the feelings I hope this helps you understand how to use ED and ING adjectives correctly. Practice using them in your sentences and you will soon get the hang of it. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel for more English language tips. See you next time. Bye!